Hey, what's going on everybody? Product Probe Quick Reviews back at you with another knife review. And today we got one from Tac Force. This is the TF888. It's actually just a simple EDC knife. It's actually a pretty heavy knife. Got your wood little, well, that's about the only wood that's going to be on this knife. Everything else is going to be stainless steel. I guess where the weight comes from. And then right there, you've got your lanyard hole. Nice little belt clip on the back. Seems to be pretty beefy. Uh, it doesn't sit up too high past this. I would have actually 86 the uh, lanyard hole to move that belt clip up just a little bit because you're going to have about that much sticking out of your pocket. But overall, it doesn't seem to be too bad. It does have a little dip right there in it. Single thumb stud knife, but just a classic looking knife. And then boom! Every year go, the thumb studs work pretty good throwing that blade up. All straight blade, drop point blade on it. Nice little point on it. Got some thumb grooves up here. None of them are actually incorporated into the blade. Ah, actually, those are on the outside, guys. There actually are none up here at the top. I know it kind of looks like my hands are going over them, but it's not. It's all flat right up here. So, ah, eh, right there, it's slipping a little bit, but still not too bad of a knife right here. It is a heavier knife. You have your simple liner lock right there in the middle. Seems to close fine. Here's the trigger. Boom, throws that blade up pretty fast. So, bam, single hand close is not bad. Single hand deployment is good. Defensive stance. Hey, it's actually not too bad right there. I like how that uptick right there, how my thumb can sit on it. No real thumb groove cutouts right there, you know, for it, except for that liner lock, but that's just so you can get to it. Seems to be a simple liner lock. And guys, this is just a simpler knife. So if you were thinking about getting it, hope the review helped. Be sure to go check out our other channel where we dive deeper into knives like this, where we show what it looks like in the pocket, the blade, the sharpness, you know, all that good stuff. But guys, hope that helped, and I will see y'all in the next one.